Hi all, today we are going to discuss some important FAQ that we have with respect to number cycle, okay? So even if you are scoring less mark in unit electives like around 60%, then in that case, you will be eligible because they are they have to select few candidates from this section also so guys the first question that you are continuously asking is different combinations of courses you can take so guys you can take as many courses as you want you can take as many dca as you want as many non-tech as you want but you have to clear any two okay so which any two you have to clear i will let you know that is that is minimum condition to clear this exam so here i have one screenshot you can see here so guys total two exams you have to clear you have to keep in mind okay you can give as many exam as you want but you have to clear only two exam okay so if you are choosing both tech track so in first tech track if you are passing with distinction then in other tech track you can pass with pass distinction means more than 70 percent pass means just pass above 50 percent okay so guys if you are taking uh, non-tech track so in that case you have to pass with distinction like process articulation base skill so if you are taking one tech track and one non-tech then in that case you have to pass with distinction okay so if you can also take unit elective so if you are taking unit elective then in that case also you have to pass with distinction okay so there are seven tech tracks track one two three four five and there are few dca so let's suppose you are taking one dca okay you are selecting one dca dca python dca java dca plsq like that then in that case you have to pass the dca with distinction okay in other criteria you have to pass any tech track if you are taking that with distinction or pass but if you do not want to take track then in that case you can choose non-tech track and if you are choosing non-tech track from process business articulation then you have to pass with distinction and if you are choosing unit elective then in that case also you have to pass with distinction so these all are permutations and combinations of passing different exam of dca okay now second thing is guys the easiest track it means that the time is very less so which track should you choose to get exam cleared very easily so in that case guys uh, like there are two things the first is dca and second is non-tech so let's suppose you are choosing dca i am saying this because if you are choosing dca you are not required to do any course on ultimatics you have to only register that dca in survey okay the survey on nomi community you have to register that dca or survey okay but if you are choosing tech tracks from t1 to t5 then you have to complete few courses on ultimatics only then you will be eligible for final exam okay and you have to register those tech tracks also in nomi community survey okay so guys let's suppose you are choosing dca java and dca peer school i'm saying this because if you are because everyone is familiar with java most of people are familiar with plsql so these two dcs are very easy okay and it's not like that you have to clear the codes also i have seen many candidates that they have not cleared the codes but they have cleared most of the mcqs among 25 with high accuracy and they have cleared the digital exam so it's not like you have to write the code you have to clear the code there are many cases where they have given digital package to those candidates who have cleared at least 24 to 23 mcqs out of 25 so try to correct your mcqs okay do not focus on code if you are not prepared okay so guys where you can prepare for dca java and dca peer as well so guys as far as the mcq is concerned and the codes are concerned i have already made playlist on my channel you can go to my channel and find dca java playlist dca pl school playlist okay so if you go to dca java playlist guys it is like everything is there mcq code so please go through it it will give you an idea that how they are giving the questions and all okay now next is non-tech track okay so in non-tech track there are different like process articulation business uh, and so on okay so guys if you are taking articulation then in that case there are five courses you have to do on ultimatics if you are taking process then there are also few courses you have to do in ultimatics so it's my suggestion that go for base skill 2 or base skill 1 because very few courses you are required to do okay anyhow you can also go for articulation and process my suggestion is fill all these things like base school base skill process articulation and survey and try to give exam for all the courses okay and try to clear any of the exam okay 
so if you clear any of the process exam sorry i mean any of the non tech courses like either of b skill process articulation you will get dc sorry you will get digital package okay now as far as the tech track is concerned t5 is easiest according to me and t3 is also easy to some extent okay so if you are going to take tech tracks then in that case you can take t5 and t3 okay i have also solution for some tech tracks please ping me on telegram i will provide solution for tech tracks to clear ultimatrix exam okay the exam that courses that you are going to give on ultimatrix for those courses of tech tracks from t1 to t5 for few courses i have the solution i can provide you you can clear that exam with the help of that solution okay now let's move to the next question so if you look at the next question the next question is completed one course in previous cycle now what okay. so guys let's understand this with the help of an example let's suppose you have cleared either of base skill process articulation in final exam in elevate wings one may cycle or august cycle okay that is uh, like the final exam that you give after completing course on ultimatrix after filling registration survey form they give you one examination date on that day if you clear the exam then in that case you are not required to do these non tech courses again you can give only any dca exam or tech track okay so you have to clear any of dca or any of tech tracks okay you can fill as many dca as you want in survey you can fill as many tech tracks as you want in survey okay and you can give exam of all the dc and tech tracks and try to clear any one of them if you clear any one of the dc or tech tracks in final exam you will be eligible for digital okay now let's suppose you have given exam for base skill process articulation in last cycle but you did not clear the final exam but you have completed the course in ultimatrix because for base skill process articulation you have to complete few courses in ultimatrix so let's suppose you have cleared all those courses on ultimatrix but somehow you are not able to clear the final exam so in that case you are not required to do the courses on ultimatrix again for the non tech courses base skill process and articulation okay so what you have to do again now is that you have to register these things in survey again because if you do not registering these things in survey then they will not be able to know that you are going to give the final exam for which course okay so if you are not clear last time so you have to only register in the survey that's it and give the final exam along with dca and uh, tech track okay now next thing is about unit directives so my suggestion to all of you is that you should focus on unit directives because these exams are easy so for this what you have to do is you have to contact your hr because for different business unit unit directives is different okay so, uh, so different people have different unit directives based upon their business unit so you have to contact contact your hr okay so when you contact your hr they will give you the course ids of different unit directives okay and i think these unit directives are easier than the non tech courses of business skill articulation and process so if you are clearing any of the unit directives with distinction then in that case you will be getting good remarks suppose 100 people gave exam for unit directives okay and among them 70% failed due to lack of knowledge that what they have to read and all okay so even if you are scoring less mark in unit directives like around 60% then in that case you will be eligible because they are they have to select few candidates from this section also so my advice to all of you is that try to collect information from hr and try to focus on unit directives because these exams are easy as compared to tech tracks or non tech tracks okay so even if you have cleared one tech track then in that case you have to go for unit directives okay so guys i have tried to give all the idea that i have